What's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to be addressing some drier spots that are in my lawn. We're going to be using a DIY surfactant. Now the surfactant I'm going to be using is not designed for lawns, but you can use it on lawns. We're gonna be using baby shampoo. Now you can use any type of soap as long as it is not an antibacterial or an antimicrobial soap or shampoo because you don't want to get rid kill off any of the bacteria or microbes because that stuff is actually really good for your lawn. So make sure if you're deciding to use something different like Dawn or something, make sure that it doesn't have any antibacterial or antimicrobial elements in that. Now what is a surfactant? A surfactant is a substance that reduces the surface tension of a liquid in which it is dissolved. So basically in these hydrophobic areas in the lawn, Hydrophobic meaning that it hates water, it doesn't absorb water. So in these hydrophobic spots in the lawn, you're going to be breaking up that surface tension of the soil, allowing that water when you irrigate or when it rains, this will allow that water to be absorbed quicker. So basically when you apply a surfactant to the lawn, it allows the soil to absorb more water so that the water doesn't really bead up on the blades or on the soil and then evaporate. So it'll allow that to absorb a lot more and a lot better. So essentially you're changing your hydrophobic areas into a hydrophilic area. Now you can buy surfactants that are for the lawn, but I'm just going to get, again be using baby shampoo. I did a test run and here are a few before and after pics here. These were applied about two to three weeks ago. So in the case of the soil having high surface tension in brown patchy spots or spots that are drying up, baby shampoo will help break up that surface tension, allowing more water to be absorbed by the soil, which in turn allows the soil to absorb more water. So you can use this baby shampoo solution on dry areas throughout the lawn or compact soil areas throughout the lawn. And you can kind of spot treat certain areas or you can apply this to your entire lawn. In this video I'm just going to be spot treating some spots. Let's go take a look at the tools that we're going to be using for this. Alright so I've got a hose end sprayer here. That's what I'm going to be using to disperse my solution and then I'm going to be using um, some baby shampoo. This is just a Walmart brand. Super inexpensive. I'm going to be applying three ounces per every thousand square feet. If you're going to be doing a full treatment, that is the rate which you're going to apply. And you can use a hose end sprayer, you can use a backpack sprayer, you can use a pump sprayer, anything to disperse that. In my case, I'm using the hose end sprayer. Let's go ahead and get that filled up. Take your baby shampoo. about three ounces I'd say maybe more if you do add more soap it's not gonna hurt it shake it up a little bit all right so I'll take that fill twister on All right, so you can see kind of all through here, we've got just right along my edges, those are suffering. There's a spot right here, suffering up in this corner, struggling a little. Back over here, struggling a little bit again. And then right through here, is having a hard time. You know how hazy the sky is. Usually that mountain's as clear as day. That mountain's looking hazy whole sky looks like it's overcast. It's not. It's definitely smoke from wildfires.
about three ounces per every thousand square feet if you're doing a full application. If not, just kind of spot treat those areas. Too much soap's not going to hurt it as long as it is not antibacterial or antimicrobial soap. And then once you get your solution mixed up, apply that to the lawn with some sort of a sprayer. And then after you spray it in, go ahead and water it in nice and good. If you're doing a full application to the lawn, go ahead and run your irrigation system or however you plan on watering your lawn. And that should be it. Give it a couple weeks and it should be looking pretty good. And then another week or two after that, go ahead and do another application and kind of continue that every three to four weeks. So if you have any questions on this process, go ahead and comment below. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Take care.